No one becomes an alcoholic just drinking beer. No worries, mate. No fears. You're so sure, Sean. What makes you the fucking authority? You're right. I'm just a fucked up kid, a piece of shit. I lost my wits. I should be out there digging a ditch to throw myself in, bitch. I hear you having fits. I hear you cracking the shits. I'm not preaching what's right for you. I'm not preaching what's wrong for you. But it all started eight years ago for me. And it developed slowly. I was in government housing, one tiny little room. They called it a studio, a dangerous neighborhood. The perfect atmosphere for a writer looking back. I fucking thought I was Jack Kerouac, but I was just whacked. I acted the part with the mean stare and the baggy clothes. I tried to fit in there. I started my drinking with malt liquor and that was my cure. At first it just took 140. 140, it was cheap. I was buzzing but still firm on my feet. I graduated to 240s. Slammed them down as fast and as hard as I could. I felt in control. I felt in control and the buzz didn't last. 80 ounce sledgehammer banging on my head. You're not supposed to drink alone, Sean. You're not supposed to drink alone when you're depressed, anxious, sad, and mad. That's exactly what I did. That's exactly what I had. I thought I could handle my liquor. That's for sure. Earl never came to visit. I never hurled. One night I drank three forties as fast as I could swallow a gallon and a half of mind-mashing malt liquor. My fucking mind totally blistered a whole day in bed to administer a recovery to my head. I got out of government housing and made the quantum leap to Guinness, Ireland's finest since 1759, pasteurized stout. This was sure to drive the demons out. Talk to my girlfriend, I'd scream and shout as I did my raps to get the rage out. This was child's play drinking Guinness. It went down like water compared to magnum malt liquor. At first I thought I was okay. Better than the other shit anyway. Until it came to drinking five, six times a week. I'd seek the buzz so I could write. I didn't put up a fight when I started. I didn't put up a fight when I started slipping Percocets under my tongue. Now here's the buzz that I needed for fun. Set up my webcam and proceed. That worked good for a while. Rage, my pain, and then twist my smile. Soon I was drinking in the morning, 7 a.m. Percocet under my tongue again and again. Liquor store opened at 8 a.m. Pretty soon I was their best friend. You guessed it, six wasn't enough. It wasn't tough to move to eight. And then the benders came where I was drunk or dry drunk, two, three, four days in a row. Wake up to drink. Wake up to drink with the bottle by my bed. I, what was I thinking? I could still write. There wasn't even a fight. I'm not drinking now after a wicked withdrawal. But hey, anyone knows anyhow. You can't become an alcoholic just drinking beer.